All right. Here we go. A little bit of a quick start here. Um, but we are getting going against Indiana Institute of Technology, I believe. Um, let's see. All right, here we go. We are off. This is NCU's first match of the season. We're super excited to be getting going again. Um, a bit of a different roster. Actually, a lot bit of a different roster. We have um, Blaze and then another Blaze and then Uso Usagi. Um, but this is a great team. We're super excited to get their season kicked off. Um, and we are just hopeful. They have a lot of chemistry. They've been practicing really hard together. And uh, we're super excited to just see how they come together in this first match. Looks like the pressure has been pretty even thus far. Uso Asagi might have an opportunity to send it mid. Blaze pops it up high. Looking for a demo. Good pressure from NCU here. Blaze C looking to send this over there. Send this over their backboard, hopefully for the other Blaze. Plasma getting a nice clear out here. This match is probably going to come down to whoever gets caught out making the most mistakes. I think these teams, their average ranks, keep them pretty close in uh, skill level individually. So I think this is really going to come down to who lets, them, who lets themselves get caught out the most. Um, probably who leaves the most unattended balls. And there's Blaze off the sidewall, putting in the first goal of the entire series. Looks like Plasma actually got an accidental redirect. And then there's Blaze sending it through. Beautiful. Beautiful start from NCU here. 3.32 left on the clock. Great rotations coming out from both teams here. So far, from what I've seen, it hasn't looked too one-sided. Even though NCU did come out with that first goal, it seems like both teams are rotating very, very well, um, playing around each other. Oh, but it looks like Blaze is going to actually catch IIT out. A little bit out of position. Let's see what happened here. Yeah, it looked like Plasma just was expecting Blaze to maybe go for the pass to, to Uso Usagi there. Not really sure what that communication was. NCU is now up two with still over three minutes to go. So plenty of time left for IIT to bring this back if they if they wanted to. A little bit of pressure mounting right now. Plasma looking for a demo. So Osagi left to defend this ball. Looks like he got faked out a little bit by one of the Defender touches. See if Blaze can bail and see you out here. Nice. The other Blaze C gets a great clear. Trying to follow. Unfortunately, couldn't get that last touch there. Stacks with a great clear off the sidewall. Met by Blaze. Send it right back into their corner. Attempt to pass mid there. Oh, a little bit of a missed touch. This might be tough for NCU. Good clear. We're seeing both teams utilize passing plays really well here, though. That's good to see from both sides. A lot of communication. Clear that these teams have played with each other plenty of times before now. Megamind trying to relieve some pressure here for IIT. Looks like he gets faked out a little bit by Blaze's slow play. I think NCU has been doing a great job at keeping the most amount of uh, pressure... It looks like IIT has been making a, a couple panic touches that are just sending them, sending the ball right back into NCU's hands. It's really important, especially in uh, 3v3, to make sure that you're keeping possession instead of just playing what we call ping pong, which is just sending the ball back and forth over and over again, letting your opponent mount pressure. Blaze looking for a bit of an airplay here. Met by the other Blaze on the wall. Plasma gets a good clear. Followed up by Stacks. That's good speed by IIT. They are going to need to score soon. And it might just go through. Crossbar down. Caught by Blaze. 
Uso Osagi's a little awkward, leaves it for Blaze C. Way to stay calm from NCU, but a great shot from Stax. Looks like NCU just got caught a little bit awkward here, yeah. Looks like Blaze C and Uso Osagi double committed a tiny bit, leaving Blaze left alone in the corner. The difference between the two teams, only one goal of 54 seconds. IIT has plenty of time to overcome this deficit if they want to. Stacks with a great pass to Megamine. Shot comes out, but saved by Blaze. Blaze is uh, he's a player that's really, really good at 1v1, so putting him back on the defensive third like that is going to come in handy for NCU. A lot of people think that you want to put your best player up at that number one or two spot, you know, making all the shots on net. But really, what's going to come out the most clutch for NCU is having um, having Blaze back on defense to make those clutch saves, which will open up opportunities like these. He gets a bump, but Stax is there, unfortunately. NCU looks like they're just keeping up pressure, but that might be a bit of an own goal. It looks like Blaze C was following a little too close to that play. That might be an own goal from NCU here. Uh, it's hard to tell because there were two IIT players there to put that through, but it looks like Blaze C might have uh, might have shoved that through a little bit. All right. Oh, this is a great kickoff for NCU if they want to steal the game right back. Blaze C gets it into the corner. Looks like NCU is going to try to keep it up here. I don't know if this is a great idea. We'll see. Overtime in game one. This is what we like to see. That's the most entertaining. Uso Asagi is going to have to deal with this kickoff. See what kind of a touch he decides to get here. He leaves it for Blaze. That's great communication by NCU. Let's see if they can capitalize. And they do. Blaze C. What a great communication play here by NCU. Blaze sends it off the corner. Gets one more touch off the backboard. Uso Asagi gets out of the play, leaving room for Blaze C to come through and slide that through the left post. What a great play by NCU. NCU wins game one. What a great way to start it out. Amazing, amazing. Looks like the players just want to get right back into it. What a great opening game. Looks like the players from IIT are taking a minute to talk things over. It's never great losing game one in a best of five because it's, you know, it's three three matches or three games to win the match. And so it uh, it's a little nerve wracking when you go down by one right away. But obviously somebody has to take that position right off the bat. Let's go ahead and get right back into spectating here for game two. Let's see if NCU can go up to match point in just two games. Another great kickoff possession from NCU. Blaze looking for a reset here. He does. He gets it over two players. Early lead for NCU with only seven seconds taken off the clock. Efficiency at its best. Another kickoff possession for NCU. It's a perfect way to lose the kickoff. Blaze C looking for a double tap. Just barely goes over it. Reads it a little low. Blaze looking for a booming clear here. Oh, what a shot from Blaze. So close. Uso Usagi putting it across. That was very good from NCU. You, usually you'll see teams, when they get a really close shot like that, they'll often they'll get really, I, I guess I could say panicked because they they want that goal so badly and uh they'll they'll try really really hard to to sneak that ball in but then they'll end up over committing and what was close to being a goal turns into a goal on their own net and so that was really good maturity from ncu to leave that ball behind and uh reset looks like iit is looking a little discombobulated on defense here they might finally... Nope, still staying in their corner. NCU's mounting a lot of pressure here. This is really good from NCU. 
IIT has been against the ropes for probably a minute straight now. Looks like Blaze might finally sneak one through, and he does. 2-0 for NCU, 3.37 left to go. What a shot. Great from Blaze to save his flip there, because then he was able to use his boost to get over the defender and still have enough to, to really drive that shot home. Great play. Let's see... It was almost a kickoff possession for NCU. It looks like they actually do end up getting possession here. What a great clear out of the corner from Blaze C. Oh, they can't give Blaze this much space. He goes for the musty. Can he get the reset? He can't. Probably just use a little too much boost a little too early. Blaze sending the ball off the sidewall. Is that in? No, it is not. Blaze staying calm and collected on the other post. Looking for a flick here. Dribbles it around one. That's tough. That is very tough. What a goal. NCU is averaging over one goal a minute here in this game. IAT is really going to need to answer. Going going to game game point. Letting NCU win this one is not going to be not going to be good for them. Looks like Mega Mon Wow, what a shot from Stax. That was a great. Was this a doomsday dish right here? Let's see, Mega Mind gets a touch in the corner. Stax in the round. Oh, just a great follow up. Wow. Nothing NCU could do there. That was a great play by IIT. Bringing the deficit to only two goals. Looks like IIT is giving themselves a chance here. I think Stax is probably going to end up faking that. Plasma was just a little late to that ball and couldn't keep it low enough. Megamind with a great touch past two NCU defenders. Blaze looking to get another full field play here. Just barely pinged off the cross or off the post by an IIT defender. Blaze is looking for an airplay himself here. Uso keeps the pressure in midfield. Can he get this read off the wall? No, he just opts to opts to get out of the play. Smart play. Megamind with another possession in the corner. Unfortunately, it was cleared away by Blaze C. But now it seems like the momentum has shifted a little bit. It seems like IIT is kind of on the uh, look at yep stacks sends another one through i just as i was saying that iit look like they have kind of flipped the momentum a little bit here now they're they're kind of on the offensive side our central is gonna have to be careful not to let that early three goal lead make them a little too passive iit still got a lot of life left in them plasma with a great clear on net this might that could have been the equalizer for iit NCU shows up, though, for that defensive stand. Blaze looking for another. Gets demoed by one player. This leaves one NCU defender alone in net. A great flick out of stacks. Can it follow up? Off the crossbar. NCU looking for a last breath here. And IIT looks like they might be running out of boost and running out of possession here to keep this in the NCU half. Uso Usagi with a great 50 in midfield. Another shot comes on net for NCU. Stacks with a great shot. Is that crossbar or is that in? Misses the double tap. Could not quite read it. The nerves are getting to him. Blaze with a great 50 to send it back into the IIT half. A demo comes out and that's the equalizer for IIT. What a play. I'm not even sure what happened here. It looks like Blaze got 50 Who got demoed? Oh, it looks like it looks like Blaze was actually overextending a bit for a demo in IIT's half. NCU's got to be careful. Like I said, they can't become passive. Can't can't relax too much against IIT just because they had an early lead. That's a great save out of stacks. IIT is really making a stand here. Left on the clock. 
Play C, looking to take it up the wall. Uso Asagi getting a clear through mid. We have a game two overtime. Play C with a great clear out middle. IIT is really pushing to uh, secure this, secure this equalizer. I think uh, it'd be wise if, if NCU loses this game. I think it'd be wise for them to take a timeout. Plasma sends it through and IIT wins. Alright, NCU is going to take a timeout here. Alright. I will be right back. Hopefully these guys do not ready up. Alright, perfect. I will be right back, folks.
All right. We are back at it. We had a little bit of a technical difficulty. Thank you for your <laughs> thank you for your patience. We just had a uh, difficulty with the um, having to start a little bit early. IT IIT needed some flexibility with the starting time because of a uh, scheduled network outage, and so we had to start everything faster, and we weren't able to get something set. So thank you for that. All right, back into it. NCU opens up game three with a quick goal here. And uh, if you were not tuned in before the last match, IIT had a three-goal comeback, uh, eventually winning it 4-3 to three, um, in overtime to equalize the series. And we are now tied 1-1. One to one. So far, both both teams have looked really, really even just overall in the series. Um, I think they kind of they kind of take turns with who's putting on the pressure. NCU for game one was putting on the pressure for almost the entire game. Game two, probably for the first minute, NCU was putting it on really, really heavy. Um, but ever since then, IIT kind of took over a little bit, and NCU has struggled to really open up even though they did get a quick goal I, st I still think NCU has been struggling a little bit to maintain pressure um, they've kind of been getting stuck in these awkward defensive positions um, kind of pinned against their back wall pinned, pinned in their corner so we'll see if Blaze can get this hook shot off he does can he sneak it through just off the post unfortunate that would have been quite the angle if he was able to sneak that through Blaze playing it into the corner He's going to have to play this off the back wall. Eating stacks in the corner. Looks like he might try to send that mid, but he's bumped. So I think that actually cleared it out like he wanted to anyways. IIT kind of... Kind of lackluster defense at the moment. Kind of just sending an empty ball up the sidewall, leaving it wide open for a blaze double tap. Can't quite get the read. That's going to leave Uso, Usagi, and Blaze to bail NCU out here. Blaze gets a nice cut in midfield. And a great shot right over Plasma. That's going to be 2-0 for NCU. Like I've said before, these are the situations where NCU needs to keep the pressure on. I think, you know, after giving up a, a three-goal lead, I think NCU needs to play even more careful than they have before. Um, just ensuring that they don't slow down, they don't they don't let up. Rocket League is a very mental game, and it's very heavy with momentum. Momentum makes a big difference in Rocket League. You know, if you're if you feel like you're really on the back foot, you're gonna be very hesitant. You're gonna play slow. It makes it really hard for you to open up and use all of your skill. But when you're when you're on offense and you're feeling like you're you know kind of really just blasting the other team shot after shot after shot it's makes you feel you know kind of un, unbeatable and see with another three goal lead here um, let's hope they do their best to keep it this time Uso Usagi with a great bump in midfield I'm not sure if Plasma would have been able to get back to it but that bump really served them well NCU is looking pretty cool right now. Asma does get a good bump. Looks like he's keeping Uso Usagi out of the play. Unfortunately, no other IIT player came up to uh, take advantage of that. Blaze is going to have another possession up the sidewall. Let's see what he can do with it. Dodges a bump from an IIT player. Sends it off the backboard. Blaze is there for the read. Sends it a little too far right. Now IIT has a counterattack. Blaze actually sends it mid. Luckily, Plasma doesn't get a great, great read on that. Blaze with a near-perfect 50 out in mid, but 
Mega Mine can get a good clear here. That can open up an opportunity for IIT. No IIT player looking to field that ball. Blasey with a great read out of the corner. What a clear. Puts IIT on the back foot again. Whittling the time all the way down to just, just shy of 45 seconds. Looks like NCU is probably going to have a game three win unless IIT can score probably within the next 10 seconds at least. So Usagi missing that read on the sidewall. Blaze looking to just keep the pressure on. Because right here, NCU doesn't have to do anything risky. NCU doesn't have to score another goal to win this game. All they have to do is keep IIT chasing the ball as long as they can without being able to capitalize on too many plays. It looks like NCU has probably done it. Yep. Looks like that, that challenge is probably going to seal the deal for game three. And we are looking at a match point. NCU is going to go up 2-1 to one against IIT in their season opener. Great start for the NCU boys. Plays with another MVP. Not not a super not a super offense heavy game from NCU. You can tell NCU only has four total shots on net and scored three of them. So I'm not sure if this is really a a good job by NCU's offense or you know kind of a poor lackluster effort by IT's defense. Um, but regardless, you know, if NCU can keep up what they've been doing, um, this is going to look like a season opener win for NCU Gold. Kickoff. Loses to IIT side. Blaze looking for an early demo. NCU is looking aggressive already. Blaze with a shot. Top corner. Nine seconds in. An aerial to celebrate. Uso Usagi with a great, great way to break up that play there. And Blaze just follows right behind, sending that through top left. What a great start for a match point if NCU wins this. These best of fives are really, really tough because, you know, even though you can have a maximum of... <clears throat> even though you can have a maximum of five games played, it's still... Uh, it still just does not feel like that many games of Rocket League to really redeem yourself. So, Blaze comes out through midfield, sends it across. Looks like this resulted from Uso Usagi pressuring this challenge. And then Blaze is able to capitalize. Great play from NCU. Up 2 0. Looking to seal this, seal the series away with this win, but. As we saw before, IT is very, very capable of making a comeback. You know, especially especially after NCU looks like they, you know, they get a little comfortable. Looks like they roll over a little bit and, you know, they kind of give IIT a little too much space. Blaze with a fake. Can he get this angle? He does. He finishes it off with a perfect flick. These are really tough, you know, stacks as the defender. He being back alone and blaze has that angle to you know basically take a hook shot anytime you want stacks he really either has to get a perfect read or he has to essentially guess and just make as good of a challenge as he can so that's that's a really really tough position for IIT to leave stacks in um no real fault to him um Uso Usagi faking this letting blaze challenge looks like IIT is gonna have a little bit of pressure here if plasma can get this fake Looks like Stax was looking for a demo, but no NCU defenders were found in net. Reset coming out from Blaze. Yeah, it looked like IIT was going to have a little bit of pressure there, but, you know, just in the... Just in the nick of time, NCU has been... Flipping that pressure around. What a save from IIT there. Uso Usagi looking for a challenge or a bump or anything to get that ball in a better position for either of the two blazes. Megamind sends it up. Can he capitalize? Really weak shot. Unfortunate. But 
uh, stacks with a good good bump there on Blaze to keep him from being able to just immediately capitalize on that. Buso is going to play this off the corner. Looks like IIT is making a bit of a stand here, but Blaze is able to just come through. 50 it right over the top of, I think, what was two IIT defenders. I've yeah, been unfortunate. I have noticed Uso Usagi almost every single time he is rotating out has gone for a play changing bump. It is really great to see. Uso Usagi is the lowest ranked player on the team and it's really great to see him, you know, opening up. I've seen him make a lot of really gutsy challenges. He's been going for bumps on the way out. It's been really really fun to see him develop, you know, from our our first practice and he was our substitute for last season. Um, unfortunately never had to play, but he has really been developing as a player. Actually picked up the game of Rocket League as our season was starting last year. So as he has been on NCU Varsity, he has been learning how to play Rocket League. And now he is competing in matches, and it looks like he is about to win his first ever match, first ever series that he has played in. That might be an own goal out of Plasma. I think this was saveable. Blaze gets the touch over Mega Mind. I think if Plasma would have just gotten on the inside of that ball, I think that was very, very saveable. This is not looking great for IIT, unfortunately, with only 2 minutes and 14 seconds to make up 4 goals. Very, very doable, but, you know, that's with NCU not extending the lead, not keeping pressure. So this is gonna be this is gonna be really really tough. Uh, IIT is gonna have to turn the tide here if they're gonna wanna stay in this one. That was such a good attempt. IIT would have had an opportunity there, but unfortunately for them, Blaze C had a really good read. A little bit of a triple commit coming out of NCU here. Uh, they're all found at the same point there in midfield. Can IIT put that one through? Two opponents go up and neither of them could make contact. Blaze with a wide open field. Blaze is in the playground. Puts one through. Just out there by himself. They just gave him a full full field wide opportunity there. A full boost. Not, not exactly the approach you want to take against him. And so he extends their lead to five. Unfortunate for IIT. IIT capitalized. Looks like sending a pass mid. Uso stuck in a bit of an awkward position there. Yeah, I think NCU really this game. I mean, there's, there's, there's hope. Just over 25 seconds a goal if IIT can score. Or not 25, uh, 15 seconds per goal. But I mean, that's gonna be that's gonna be really tough. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to pull that off. NCU is just looking a little too confident. You know, like I said, it's it's all about momentum, and unfortunately, NCU, you know, has had the momentum pretty much all game. I would say most of the series, except for you know a couple a couple times, I'd say IIT's three goal comeback was a great. A great example of how momentum can swing and you can really change a lead. It looks like the Blazes are uh, actually miscommunicating a little bit. That could have been an opportunity for IIT right there. I don't. It's just unfortunate because IIT keeps getting really close to being able to, to put a goal through. And then they... I, I'm not sure what happens if there's a miscommunication. If the, you know, the opportunity makes them a little bit nervous. I'm not sure what happens, but... Seems like a lot of their opportunities have kind of just been snuffed out by a miss. But overall, this I've been watching. I've been watching these guys play together, um, and really, I don't even know if they've looked this good even in their practice matches. I think their first match. This is the best I have seen them play, and this will be a series win for NCU. A little bit of sportsmanship. 
there all right well we are going to get a um we are going to get an ncu player in here for a interview and i'll be right back with that Alrighty, here we are with Uso Usagi himself, yep. also known as Josiah, exposing your real name. Let's see if we can get this face this way a little bit more. All right, that's good. All right, well, that is your first ever match that you've ever played in, yeah. and you guys win it, and it's the season opener. How are you feeling? Pretty good. I need to practice a lot more, but I feel like we're going to at least get a couple more in. Yep, absolutely. You know, you guys are looking good as a team. How did that feel, you know, being a match and all? How did that feel as opposed to, you know, your guys' practices? Did that feel, you know, better than you've ever practiced? Did you feel like, you know, the nerves of it being a real match made it worse? How are you guys feeling? Well, the nerves are setting in now, after the game is done. There were a couple moments where I had a little bit more of a indecision as compared to when yep. we're practicing probably because it was an actual match and not just uh queuing up with some yeah yeah i i you know being someone who's competed as well i when you get in the match your your nerves really go crazy and i know i've had some pretty pretty crazy mistakes that have resulted from being in a match so um but yeah you guys look really great out there um how is it you know you were a sub and just because of the dynamic of our team, we didn't even really get to play a ton together. How has this season so far, you know, practices and now that you're done with your first match, how has it felt for you, you know, just actually being able to like, you know, you're one of the core members of the team now. Feels good because when you play randomly, you don't have the same amount of communication and synergy with your team. Yeah. Even if you use quick chat or stuff but since we all know each other and we're in the same room and talking to each other it's yep. easier to be like hey i'm going mid hey i'm going up the wall i got this one i'm mm -hmm. rotating back yeah and it makes it feel like a more complete game as compared to just taking what shots you can and yep absolutely well how has it been you know just obviously you guys haven't even had that much time to practice together you know what's the team chemistry like you know when you guys are playing games are you guys just laughing having fun i think i could hear you guys screaming a little bit so how, what, are, what are the vibes like kind of when you guys are even you know in the stressful matches um depends on the day usually I try to keep up a bit of chatter to keep it light because the moment yeah. you get like irritated or anything you start going downhill real fast so i try to make sure we don't go downhill yeah and it helps keeping me from going downhill too so bonus yeah. there awesome um let's see yeah, any any final that's all the questions I have for you. So any final, you know, whatever to anyone watching or you know Hi just... guys, I'm on TV again. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is gonna be a fun season. I can tell you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with it. You know, congratulations on winning the season opener and your first match ever played, you know, real match. So 
Awesome. Well, great job, you guys. And then I'll I'll close out the stream here. So, well, thanks for anyone that's been uh, tuning in regularly. I know we started at a little bit of an awkward time, but we will be back here um, at 6 p.m. next Monday for another match. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in and uh, we will catch you guys next time.